What's up everybody, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel. I just wanted to put a quick video out as kind of a word of caution. If you've got a schoolie or a box truck, some kind of industrial type vehicle that you've made into something to be lived in, uh, to go out and live uh, the traveling lifestyle, stay on public land, put solar on, all that jazz. I recently got my trailer back from a friend and I already had a hitch welded up but it didn't have the trailer lights coming from the school bus. I have a schoolie. I would show the schoolie in the background, but the sun is gonna kind of kill us on the lighting. I will show it, but just bear with me on the, on the way the angle is with the sun. But what I did was I knew I had to put trailer lights on to you know, be legal and safe and make this uh, trailer like it should be. And so at the same time, I decided I would put tail light, new tail lights, LED, uh, tail lights on the bus I've got a, my bed is in the very back of the bus and I knew I was gonna have to dig everything out it's a storage area and drill holes all the way through and do a wiring and things like that so I figured hey while I'm at it I know these tail lights are, are corroding and some of them have given out I might as well put the LED tail lights on at the same time and so I ordered some nice tail lights and got to work and I ran into something that I don't want you to run into. So let's just talk about it now. You can see the back of the bus. I've got a tarp on it and I've got a tarp over here because the sun has just been so, it heats up the metal on the bus and it makes the whole bus uh, like a heat box. And so the, I'll take the tarps off to get these t new tail lights in. But let me show you what I bought initially. You see it here. Now I've got to come back and do something with the uh, places where I took the lights off. But you see it's a, it's a sharp looking tail light and it puts out a lot of light. I did a lot of, I did quite a bit of testing when I was uh, installing it and it, it looks like it was going to work really well. Except one thing. Here's the other one. If you look here, you see, here you see I've labeled them as I was going, you know, one by one. I used a, a pull cable to pull it from over here, which I've got to replace that bulb, so I've still got a tail light and I'm legal, so that one's going back on. But over here, you've got a separate wire for all of your indications that you need to have backup tail light turn signal and brake am i forgetting something and your ground wire but considering that that uh tail light only has four wires it didn't work so i ordered some different ones online that i'm going to install right now let me show you here is an example of the lights that I'm gonna install instead. And you can see they're a little bigger. They've got the separate uh, areas here for turn signal and, and backup, which I kind of like. I'm leaving my backup lights that are on the bus too. But you come to the back and sure enough, you've got five wires, one for each one. And so it's just a quick video I wanted to get out to you so you don't end up going through the same frustrations that I did. Most of the tail lights you just buy at the, at the hardware store, at the you know AutoZone, Pet Boys, whatever, they're gonna be four wires. And I had to dig a little bit to find these and I'll put a link in the notes to these exact ones. But even if you don't get these, just make sure if you've got a five wire system that you get a five wire tail light and save yourself a little grief. That's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back soon with some more information about the van build. See ya.